Now that you've met Optimus Prime, you're all caught up with the small talk. He is Megatron's number one nightmare. Coming in strong, weighing 25 grams of protein, $3,000 cat who has no experience of how outside life is and doesn't believe in actions have consequences. He is jumping, he's four months old. He is jumping, wrestling Megatron, not knowing that Megatron is from the street. She will fuck him up, but he doesn't care. He's just annoying the shit out of Megatron. And I'm confidently saying that zero brain cell, minus 10 brain cell. There is nothing inside. Yes, I know we say orange cats, they already have nothing inside. But this one is minus brains, not even zero, minus. Now, for those of you who have been around the channel, you know that I used to have 18 cats. Gave them all a new home because I had to switch my life up. They absolutely ruined my life. And do not ever in your life get 18 cats. And after a whole year of having no pussy in my life, in April of 2024, I decided to... Allah, I decided to get a cat. I ended up with Megatron. She had no tail. I picked her immediately because, you know, no tail equals views and likes. Oh my God, Kush, you're such a good person. And just last month, a thought came into my mind that it is not fair for Megatron to spend all her life just dealing with me she needs to have another cat and no matter how many times i try to communicate with her by meowing at her 500 times a day it's not gonna work she's just gonna look at me and say what is this donkey even saying fuck this guy so i decided to go to this one website where there's you know people who cannot keep their cats anymore it's called dubizo it's for the gcc in the middle east over here and for the past week i've been scrolling but nothing has caught my attention and i was still 50 50 about it until three days ago on a tuesday night i came across a picture a very distinguished gentleman a very cute gentleman this white and orange donkey was so beautiful so cute gorgeous piece of shit that immediately caught my eye i went messaged the guy literally same minute after five ten minutes i went to the guy's house and i took the cat he said that he bought the cat last month but the reason he can't keep it is because his mom is afraid of this cat because his kitten jumping up and down and i asked what breed it is he said that it is an american iranian so it's a persian american the benefits of having two cats for example if you're outside they will not get bored they'll play with each other you get twice the love and it's entertaining to watch them go in a wwe match fucking batista bombing each other they learn from each other it is healthier for them as well it is mentally better and they will have a love of the same cat it is the cutest shit ever when two cats cuddle and they're besties it's super cute but now this is the part where it gets complicated for most people because they think you can just come bring a cat and throw it in front of your the cat you already have and they're going to be besties jumping up and down oh my god i've been waiting for you all my life it doesn't work like that cats are very territorial this place this is megatron's house this is not even my house if you bring a new cat and you put it immediately in front of your already owned cat you're going to witness murder, literally, especially with Megatron and the, feist, the force of her bites. She was going to kill this cutie putty $3,000 bougie ass uh, cat. So after two years and 18 cats, my experience as a lonely grandma cat lady has paid off. So I put them in separate rooms. They should not look at each other at all. They need to be separated. They should know their existence, but only through smell. But unfortunately, Megatron saw me with Optimus Prime in my arms going inside the room and closing the door behind me. And her face was full of betrayal. It, it was... I, I honestly thought I'm cheating on Megatron by being in that room with this uh, donkey alone. This is the part where she said, go with your other bitches. And after swapping blankets and, you know, giving each other each other scent so they'll get used to it a little bit. After a few hours, I tried to have them look eye to eye because I, w I didn't want to keep them in separate rooms. I wanted, to be I wanted them to be friendly as soon as possible. I tried a couple more times that night, but they kept on growling and hissing at each other. Megatron was quiet, maybe growling every once in a while. But the next day, because I spent the night on, in bedroom with Optimus Prime and Megatron was outside in the living room. But the next day when I came towards Megatron, this is how she treated me.
Ach! I wasn't cheating on you, I swear. I was I wasn't cheating. Calm self. I wasn't cheating. Obviously, in this situation, you gotta show your OG cat that you still love them. You play with them. You show them affection. Try to be there for them so they won't feel that much of a betrayal because they do feel betrayed if you spend all your time with a new cat. You should spend with both because a new cat is very new to the environment and should feel safe. But the old cat needs to be felt loved as well. Maybe give them even more attention. But this haywat, this donkey, was not allowing me to do anything. Anytime I get close to Megatron, she used to slap me. And you know, when she slaps me, she used to slap me with her paws. She started slapping me with her nails. Deep down, I was sh fucking bleeding. I try to pet her. She growls at me. She hisses at me. I was so offended, honestly. I was betrayed because this was the first time Megatron ever hissed at me. But it's very understandable. Well, at the time, it wasn't very understandable. So I decided to be pity about it. Bring Optimus Prime out. Pet him in front of Megatron. And get Megatron's reaction. <laughs> After a few hours, I switched up the rooms. I brought Megatron in this room. So, you know, she would get the scent. She would get the smell. Get used to it a little bit. But she was not getting used to it. This was literally just two days ago. And anytime she would smell this donkey, this bougie-ass cat, she hisses, growls, and just wants to fuck shit up. It took multiple tries, hefty amount of expensive wet food just to put that, you know, balls at the other side of the door, open the door slightly a little bit so they can eat their food because once they're eating, nothing else in this world matters. I put them on a meal plan that whenever I bring this good food, it is next to each other. So it is a good sign. I learned this from YouTube, literally. It is a good sign that tasty food equals this person. Basically, whenever the other cat's around, you're going to get good food. It is a good signal that goes into inside their small tiny tiny ass brain but not the the optimus prime has zero is literally zero brain cell i put a bowl of water for them and optimus prime is just slashing it out as if it's a litter and then after what all the water is on the floor he goes down he's like oh where's the water this guy is not feeding us so after multiple tries just today they decided to handshake on it and they decided to become friends not fully fully like besties but they became Friends, a little bit more comfortable around each other. Finally, thank God. Both Megatron and Optimus Prime, they were blinking a little bit slowly. They weren't having like eye to eye staring contest, which is a very bad thing. And that was such a beautiful moment that this finally, after like two, three days, it was a world record for me. I never had this like a cat out of the 18 even to be friends this fast now basically the whole day they've been wwe each other wrestling every single second thankfully finally they can finally tire themselves out i can have peaceful sleeps at night not so much during the day because they fuck shit up all around the house and i need to go after them and clean up but it's fine it's fine. They're happy. They're healthy in their heads. If they even have a head. They keep each other entertained. I keep them entertained as well. We play with each other. But they have each other as well. So I don't have to worry about playing with them 24-7. But yeah. Just wanted to introduce you to Optimus Prime. The latest member of the group. Get a good look at this face. Because this face is going to grow up in the blink of an eye. And for tonight's outro. I'm going to give you exclusive footage of them wwe each other. Megatron and Optimus Prime. Straight out of directed by Michael Bay.